and then I need to put the vanity. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Put the possum clock. Possum clock. Put that there. Um, I put fireplace. Put a bonsai tree. Got a totem. Paintings. Put it over. Over here. That'd be nice. But yeah. Hopefully everything else is alright. Apart from that, Chris. Hopefully everything else is lovely. Possum clock. What else have we got in here? Another bonsai tree. Another fireplace. Oh, I can even put the rug downstairs ready. Well, there's nothing really going to go down here, so. There we go. And the bed can go here. Um. Yeah, that's what we can put for now. There we go. So there's no beds in these rooms at the minute, but. Hell yeah. Got the bathrooms. Oh, damn. Look at that bath. Look at that bath. Lovely. So we've got two working bathrooms. Oh, hold on. That's what, yeah, that's why I did that. That's why I emptied out all the pockets. There we go. Lovely. And then dining room. What is the dining room? Uh, can't have cushioned or that. We can have these though. We'll get five of those. Can I get this? I can. And then a grand. Oh. Uh, a hot. A hot buffet. Just feels like I am fighting a losing battle all the time. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I mean, can you just prove that you're trying to find something? Is is that a thing? Like, as long as you're trying. There we go. So now we just need to find the beds. And then we will do level six. Lovely. Let me just quickly go by a few silk sheets. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. yeah, I'll do that. Then hopefully we can get beds in there. Um, where's the bed? There. Dun, 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 dun. So that one, yeah, oh, we need cotton sheets, we need cotton sheets, which I've probably put away, but now we have plenty of space, so, should be alright, let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay, well I need some, no actually. No, actually. You know what? Ha ha! That can go in there, so he can do this now. Hey! I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> but it was a noise, for sure. Why are you fuming? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I friggin... Thought. Let's get these back. Yeah, we got loads of cotton sheets. I can hear people playing on the arcade machines again. Mum. And then we'll go find the the bird god. 
I'm a bit scared of the bird god, to be honest with you. Not gonna lie. I don't want to. Frankly. I don't want to. But here we are. One, two, three. I can make three. So I only needed one more. One in that room. One in that room. So we've only got one room that's not in commission at the minute. Hmm. And then I need one, two, three, four of these. Da 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 da. Is it? Oh, that's too big. It has to go in front of the window. Maybe I'll move the window then. The window can go there. Um, and there we go. In there. Downstairs. Like so. Two, three, four. I mean, we might as well make four of these just for now because otherwise it's not going to fit in there anyway. Um, can I move that? Yeah, move that there. Move that there. Boom. Oh, it can fit there. Your message got stuck. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that's just how it goes, you know. It's not correct. It's not, but... That's just... What some people are like, you know. It's just what some people are like. And it does suck. It does Oh, lovely. Ta da! We just have to. Wait, no. I mean, I can use my trash, but we'll do the next quest. We will do the next quest. What time is it? I can't see the time. Oh, God, it's bloody raining here. Bloody rain in here. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to book people in. There we go. I can probably get um, Gus to do this as well now, but you know. Yeah, no. No worries, have a poop or whatever. <laughs> have a poop! Uh. Yes, congratulations, this greatly benefits this location. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. I got some pants. I got some pants. Ugh. No, I like them pants better. Nah, 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 not today. Not for that. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, thank you. Further improvements. Complete the stay for 50 plus guests? Fifty plus guests. My Lordy Lordy. Uh, oh. You know, that's a lot. That's a lot. Mash tatties, mint tea, egg dippy, corn on the cob. Let's get some good ones. And then get like 10? 
Yes, and zesty mushrooms or something. Shoosh, shoosh, shoosh. And then tea. Save changes. Lovely. On, sorry. Save changes. Yes, please. Put you on. Turn on. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. It's just going to be extremely hot in here. Maximum cabin temperature. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to be mega hot. But it's cool. Right. Uh. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> that's that, I suppose. Go put that away. Because I need to... Um, upgrade. Like, some of the signs and stuff around here. So we can invite more guests. So where are they? So there's one there which we need silk sheets. There's one there. Because the more the merrier, right? The more the merrier. So I need to get 50 plus friggin guests. Confirm. Yay. So do they come now? So, all of our bedrooms are filled. We have bedroom 9, which doesn't have a bed. So, you know. That's fine. It literally doesn't have a... Oh, I didn't... Well, you can you can stay there for now. That's fine. This. Yeah, 3,000. Right, cool. Let's friggin' go. Is there any more monument mon monuments around here? I think there is. I think there's... Yeah, there's one at the top. We'll uh, sloop past there. Imagine being in that campsite right now. <laughs> Imagine being in that campsite right now. You'd be like, oh, help me. It's not gonna eat no tents or nothing. Iron plate. Okay. Well, we don't have enough iron plates, so we'll have to get those. Okay, so we need to go to the dark grove. Great. <laughs> Great. So let's do that, shall we? We have to go to the store dust first, and then wiggle our way in. Alright. I'll probably get those charcoal lilies in my own time. Just so, um... It's not too much, you know? Because we'll be doing that for a couple of days. A couple days, for sure. So, we did go into these caves. Um, and we did find two doors, I think it was? I think it was two doors. Um... So we can only open one. We'll see. So there's a way into the... I mean, yeah, this way. This was the way. Let me go... Hello, no? Yeah. Uh, oh, it needs an iron key. Okay. So we've got fuzzy key. Quest, it squeaks. Um, is that what we just came out of? Oh dear. Where am I? Hello? Oh shoot, here we go. <laughs> oh, it leads to a hidden chamber. Hello? Oh, okay. Ah! The bird thing is real. Great. Lovely. And it's making weird noises at me. It's going... <coughs> Vlad, it's about time already. I've been waiting for your... For your ya ages. <laughs> Hello? Well, don't just stand there with a smart look on your face. I'm famished. Are you... The bird god? God, king, lord, emperor, pick a favourite. 
As long as you bring me something to eat at once. I am Vlad, and you should not address me directly. You look a lot less scary than I thought. Oh, I'll turn into something scary, all right. Unless you get me something edible soon, I might just have to devour you. You have significantly fewer teeth than I thought. Quickly now, something red and delicious. Something I can really sink my significantly fewer teeth in. So what will it be? The blood of a newborn? Don't be ridiculous. I think your lord will go for some beets. I trust you still grow those around here. Okay. I'm going to take your chest. I'm going to take this key. I already made your snappy bappy beets, mate. Here you go. Have you brought me beets? Got them right here. Give it here. Oh, finally, something to appease the royal stomach. What's taking you so long anyway? I've been waiting here for what felt like ages. Is the ceremony ready? What? No, I don't even know who you are. Peasants. They keep me waiting all this time and they finally send over peasants. Listen. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> listen, you, and listen well. Your king shall not be treated this way. King who? King, God, whatever you see me as. I was quite happy in my old land, even without my special title. I could even say that the modest amenities there were better than these royal chambers. I think we have a very different definition of royal, mister. I can't believe they sent such a simpleton after all this time. I'm sorry, but I don't think there's anything kingly about this place. It's a hole in the ground, an abandoned one. Abandoned? How dare you? These are clearly imperial grounds. You wouldn't know noble blood if it executed you in the town square. Why have you been locked in the um, royal chambers all this time? Because. Because. Because of the preparations, of course. It is by my endless grace that I allowed you to hear this explanation. Only this once. Oh no, he was taken as well. I was chosen as the next in line for the divine throne by my loyal followers. They came to my home and took me on my regal trip towards my new kingdom, post haste. It was quite a brutal journey, even by servant standards. For the good of the realm and my own protection, the guards brought me here to the um, Imperial Dark Cellar. Here I would wait the ceremony preparations to be complete. I summoned, I should be summoned for my coronation shortly. They do like to take their time. I can't believe I have to explain myself to the provincial. I see. Well, at least you're not the bloodthirsty bird god I was looking for. How rude. That's what your weird little followers told me. If you meant the three gremlins smelling around the caves for a whiff of my royal behind, I carry no such entourage. And you can very much inform them that the absent, um, a current. It's late. <clears throat> And you can very much inform them that the absent a coronation ceremony, I am left to be alone. I am left alone. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think there's gonna be one, Vlad. Oh no, why else would I be brought all this way then? You are simply not well informed enough to grasp the intricacies of high level diplomatic arrangements. But I can say that. But I can say that without like stuttering. I'll be here awaiting my servants. If you're not intelligent enough to be one, then be gone from my sight. Pfft, not royal chambers. What a churl. Uh, tell the flight what you've learned. Okay. So, what I'm getting from this is all of the animals were moved um, when the humans came. All the animals were moved. Um, I'm not quite sure why Hank wasn't moved. I guess he wasn't in any of the valleys. Like where we've set up shop. But. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. What is going on. But yeah. I'm, I'm guessing they were moved because the humans wanted to be there instead of the animals you know like normal human behavior but, ah animals here Pfft, rid of them get rid of them so was there anything in there did you see him i hate to break it to you fellas there aren't any gods definitely not any bird ones ha i told you he'd be too scared to go i went through the entire cave and i found your bird god no you didn't you're still alive I did actually. His name is Vlad, and he has a considerable smaller amount of teeth than I was told. 
But the feathers! Turns out parrot shed feathers, especially when forced into a tiny room. That's impossible. Oh, and he asked you don't go creeping on him anymore. He's got other priorities. This doesn't make any sense. The vision in my dream said to look for it. Look for the bird god. I'm starting to think we should all skip late night dinners before bed. Maybe it was just our imagination. I haven't dreamed in a while. Yeah, me neither. Not since the night of the fire. After the bear died. After the bear died. Alright, I play a lot of games on this channel. And most of them involve dead people, right? Like spirits that need to be comforted. Is Hank dead? Or, is, or, or are we talking about his dad? Because we've met his mum, but not his dad. So that settles it. We... The what? Yeah, the big fire. Were you born yesterday? What was that about a bear? There's no other bears in the valley except me and my mum. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop it. Yeah, there was. They died in the fire, we think. How do you not know about that? I... I don't know. It was a big deal. That doesn't usually happen. Who was the bear? Do you know them? How did it happen? Look, guy, you mind taking your unexpected revelations elsewhere? We kind of have our own to deal with here. Yeah, besides, it's not us you should be asking about bears around here. Our flavour is murderous, ruthless gods, and those aren't even in anymore, apparently. Yeah, I'll find someone else to ask. Don't let us stop you. 